Hi, I'm Jorndorf, and I'm about to attempt problem number 13 uh, in this year's advent of code. Um, to start, I've got just like a terminal window. I'm going to use Python. And I've got Emacs, and I guess I'll open the file. Um, and let's get going. I'm going to do it as fast as possible. I'm just going to try and keep up a running stream of commentary. A crop of this size requires significant logistics to transport produce, soil fertilizer, and so on. Blah, 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 ordinary system of tracks. Seeing as how cart and track systems don't appear in recorded history for another thousand years, you also need to be making up this as they go along. I haven't figured out how to avoid collisions yet. You map out the tracks, your puzzle input, and see where you can help. Tracks consist of straight paths and curves and intersections. At an intersection, a cart can turn left, right, or go straight. Several carts are also on the tracks. Carts either face up, down, left, or right. The track under each cart is a straight path matching the direction the cart is facing. Each time a cart has the option to turn, it turns left the first time, goes straight the second time, turns right, and then repeats this direction again. Left, straight, right, left, straight, right. This process is independent of the particular intersection at which the cart has arrived. The carts all move at the same speed, one step at a time. Carts in the top row move first, then carts in the second row, third row, and so on. Ah. Each one of these loops is called a tick. First the top cart moves down, then the bottom cart moves up. Then the process repeats, and there's a crash. Here's a longer example, great. Um, the carts eventually crash. <laughs> you only need to know the location of the first crash, okay. In this example, the location of the first, okay, so this example, I always do tests because that's the kind of guy I am. Um, And it's seven three. Okay, so let's try it. Um, <coughs> hmm. Well, my first job is to get the okay. All right, so um. Right? And this is a vertical one. Great. Oops. Okay. So now I need to know the location and direction of each cart. Let's see. Um, okay, so uh, what I want to have is a, um, let's go ahead and make a little couple. Uh, class here. The direction is, uh, and I, you know, I have to write these out because I write, like I just, um, this isn't right. One of them is negated. I can't remember which one. So, like, say negative dy. So, say it's going, say it's facing down, facing down. That would be in the positive y direction. Um, and then, if it turns left, it'll be facing this way. So, it'll be in the positive x direction. So, actually, it's the other one that gets negated. 
um, and then turn right is the opposite. I just haven't remembered this. And this is like, you know, matrix multiplication. This is from like game development. I, I, I know this, but um, Uh, the different things here, uh, they mean different things. So this is this is going to be the negative x direction. This is going to be the positive x direction. Negative y direction. Positive y direction. Um, Right? Dx and dy will come from the direction. Yeah. Okay, so now we have the track map. Because the question is, um, you know, how do we behave when we turn? Like if we, if we hit one of these, well, if we're coming down, we'll go left. If we're coming left, we'll go up. Uh, down, we'll, if we're down, we'll turn right. If we're coming from the, from, if we're coming, if we're actually moving right, we'll turn left. So this is a little bit tricky. Um, I guess if we're going positive Y, we'll end up going negative X. Uh, we, we, yeah, okay, good. Um, this is the tricky one. Backslash is easier. Um, I'm gonna see that one first. Oops. That one, you just bounce off of it. Uh, so if you're going positive x direction, you end up positive y. If you're going negative y, you end up negative x. If you're coming down, positive y unit, positive x, and so forth. This one's a little different. I think it's like this. Um, because like if, you if you're coming positive x, then you'll end up going negative y. Uh, positive y, you'll end up going negative x. Posi negative x, you'll end up going positive y. Right, okay, so I've done three of the four cases, and that's what, I'm just gonna take that as, as the right one. All right, so... Um, So one tick, we're just going to keep going until things crash. Um, it's given us the fact, it's like we don't have to prove termination here, we just, it's given us the fact that they're eventually going to all crash. So, um, right, so what do we do here? When it reaches an intersection, oh my gosh, so each one has a memory. Hmm. Next is going to turn left, right? Like I think this is the first. The first thing is, is is it says that we're going to turns left the first time, then straight, then right. Okay. This is the the order um, in which they move. 
I'm gonna sort by this. All right. So what, what was I looking at? Oh yeah, yeah. Next, the next, next turning is left. So it's left straight right, left straight right. So um, let's um, let's put it in here. Is intersections okay? So at intersections we turn left, right, straight, left, right, straight. So if stuff up next is left, uh, right. So then um, oh, do nothing. Good. Um, so each tick. It shows it after the tick having moved and then turned. So we're going to move and then turn. Um, yeah. So move and then turn. Move and then turn. So for cart in sorted carts, we're going to sort by move order. Um, move and then turn. And then if so we're gonna get the current the the current thing in the track map. And then um, if it's in this list, looks like a regular expression. If it's in that list, then um, then we curve. Otherwise, I guess we can assert that we're in one of these, and we don't need to curve. We don't need to bend. Um, yeah, and that's it. Ah, but then then we check for collisions, right? So. This is this is where it's interesting. Like we we've kept our setup. Okay, so right. So if any cart, um, oh. Yes, it right. There's a check. The collision has happened here, right? Let's try it. Failed. All right. It's a space. I've gone into empty space. This is really bad. Um. So. Because like right now, now I'm now I'm thinking I have to dump out information. I have to debug this. Um, let's try f just first. Let's try this. Uh, let's try that. In the first example, we have two zero uh, a greater than sign and nine. Zero, one, two, that's wrong. Zero, one, two, three, it should be three. Huh. Zero, one, two, three, it's clear as day, it should be three. What is going on here? Zero, one, two, three. Okay, well, I, you know, I, I'm not sure. Print Y and line. Um, I'm gonna print the tuple. Zero, one, and two. But we, like we got two there. Split lines isn't working. Zero. That one's correct. One. We somehow got. We did our place went our place went crazy or something. Like what happened here? Ridge map. Split lines. 
<gasps> Backslashes. Oh. <clears throat> okay. That's more like it. Assert past, remove the print statements, and continue on to the next thing. Oh yeah, so um, now we need to paste the bubble input in there. Holy cow. That's a lot of ASCII art. Um, 83,121. Now, that's the right answer. We move on to part two. There isn't much you can do to prevent crashes in this ridiculous system. However, by predicting the crashes, the elves know where to be in advance and instantly remove the two crashing cards the moment any crash occurs. They can proceed like this for a while, but eventually they're going to run out of cards. It could be useful to figure out where the last card that hasn't crashed will end up. For example, in this, so what I usually do here is I just uh, take it um, and I save it as part two. Um, so here they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They have nine of them as an odd number. Um, after four very expensive crashes, the chickens with only one cart remaining. Its final location is six, four, last cart standing. I'm just going to say the last cart. It's going to be six, comma, four. Um, great. So then, wait, wait, wait. So they remove the two crashing cards. Okay, great. So then, the, so there's only one at any location. So there's going to be exactly two. Hmm. All right. So um, I'm going to modify this. Um. Uh, we do all the stuff, and then and now it's collision time. So, like the collision thing, I think what I want to do is um, just go through the remaining ones of the list because we won't collide with any that are in the past. No, we can we can collide with cards that are in the past. Uh, if they collide. Then what we need to do is remove them. But um, huh. So we, we're modifying the list while we're enumerating it. It's just like this classic problem. Um, I think the best. Yeah, I think the best thing to do is just start with i equals zero and one i is less than one parts. This is kind of annoying, but let's do it this way. Um, so then we need to remove i and j. So we, and if j is to the left, then we remove an extra card. We have to actually decrement i. Um, we moved it. We moved it. Uh, right. Break. Um, Else, we didn't break. Oh, no, 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 no. That's what I meant. And then we did not break. We did not break. We did not move the cards to increment I by one. Um, right. And 
And now if there's only one left, right, then we do that. So now let's run it. I don't know. Last card is not defined. Assertion error, well, we failed. Okay, so good. So, um, yeah, so now what? Well, uh, what did it find? Six, five. Hmm. It's there. What the heck? Okay, six, five. Oh no, six is a. No, yeah, six is one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's here. That's crazy. What did I do wrong here? Um, well, I was trying to avoid dumping out the stuff. But maybe I can't avoid that. Assertion error. Oh no, yeah, we, we, yeah. Okay, so. Two zero, right. The next collision happens at two four. Right. Um, the next collision happens at like six four, yes, and then another collision happens at two four again, yes. At which point, oh, the tick ends. Oh, we have to wait for the tick to end. See, this is why I'm dumb. Okay, great. So at this point. We go down here. That's one of these Python things where like you have to get yeah, like that. And then oh you're great! Now we're in good shape. First scratch is not fine. We got past the assertion and it's 102, 144. Copy it, go here, and if I had read the spec, then we would have done a lot better. Okay. 